Hello everyone, we will continue the topic about programming and in this video we will learn how to create a variant for a report. So far we developed so many reports, now we will learn how to create a variant for a report. Before we learn how to create a variant, the first thing is we should understand or we need to learn what is variant and why, why we are creating variant. So what is variant? When we run the same program with the same set of input or selection. Suppose I will go for the system. Parallelly, we will understand in the system. Suppose I am running the program. Whenever we will run the same program with same set of input or selection. Suppose I am giving the input 1 to 10 and I am executing. Suppose next time I am running the same program and I am giving the same input or selection 1 to 10. So whenever you will run the same program with same set of input or selection. So rather than or instead of passing the input every time, you can save that input in the selection set that is called as variant. So rather than passing the input again and again, we can save this input in the selection set that is called as variant. And just think, as of now, this program has only one input parameter. In real projects, sometimes we have so many input parameter, checkboxes, radio button, we have so many parameters, we have so many select options. Just think at that point of time, if every time you will pass the input again and again, how much time it will waste. So rather than passing the input again and again, save that input and that is called as variant. Suppose if we will learn how to create a variant. Suppose this is the input 1 to 10. I want to create a variant so that next time there is no need to pass this input. I will simply simply take from the variant. Suppose I gave the input. Whenever I want to save this as a variant, you have a button here. Sorry. Before that, one thing, you can take any program or any report, whatever you created, it is totally your wish. I took the, I took the report of interactive classical report event. You can took any report, whatever the report you created, and you can learn the creation of the variant. Suppose I'm running this. I will give the input. Now I will save this as a variant. Whenever you want to save this as a variant, we have a button here, save as variant, or you can simply go for go to variants, save as variant it is totally your wish how you want to go before i will say just see here as of now we have only one button execute whenever i will save as a variant or whenever i will create a variant one more button will come here suppose i am clicking here i will give some name to the variant suppose i will give var1 Suppose description, order number 1 to 10. So this where 1 has the order number 1 to 10. This description I gave meaningful so that we can understand this. Yes. Now I will say. Now you can see one more button came here and what is the name of the button? Get variant. Suppose I am running the program. Again. I am executing the program. I want to run this program for order number 1 to 10. There is no need to pass the input again because you created the variant. So you can simply click on to this button, get variant. 
you will be able to see variant name description simply select and you can see this value scheme you can simply execute and get the output as of now we have only one input parameter but just think whenever we have so many input parameters at that time this feature helps us a lot now it is not the case that i can go for single variant suppose i want to go for a variant for order number one to five so i can simply simply go for save suppose i will give the name suppose bad to suppose order number one to five i will go for save so now i have two variants now if i will see this button get variant you can see we are able to see the two variants one is for order number 1 to 10 if i will choose this order number 1 to 10 now if i want to go for order number 1 to 5 this is order number 1 to 5 now we can delete a variant also suppose i if i want to delete the variant i can simply simply go for go to variants we have the options here get display delete save as variant anyways we cover save as variant we have a get button here also and we have a get button here also suppose if you want to get a variant you can go from here also whenever you will click here get you can see we are getting same to same kind of pop-up so you can choose the variants from here also now if you want to delete a particular variant before delete I will show you the display part. But display part will show you. Display part will show you that what are the various values into that particular variant. Suppose if I will go for display and I will choose this particular variant. Suppose var1. So it will give me what is in that particular variant. We have the order number. And you all know a select option has four parts. Sign, option, low and high. So we have a include. You all know, yes, we are going from 1 to 10. So it is saying it is high. Your option is between BT from value is 1 and 2 value is 10. Suppose if I want to go for another variant. Very go to variants if i will display so what is exactly in that variant but the values you say suppose if i will go for second variant you can see we gave the include anyways we gave one to five but asset to the store include between one to five so you can check the values of that variant with the help of display button you can delete a variant also suppose if i will go for go to Variants delete. Suppose I do not require a variant. So I'll simply select and I will go for OK. And now I will simply, simply go for delete. If you have multiple clients, you can choose first video button. If you have single client, you can go for single client. If you want to delete in all the client, choose first video button. If you want to delete in single client, means this client only, you can simply, simply go for this. If I will continue, Yes, I want to delete. Now, whenever I will go for get variant, you can see we have only a single variant. So, what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we covered how you can create a variant for a report. And in the projects, we never waste our time in providing the input again and again. Because in real projects, sometimes you will see we have so many input parameters. So rather than wasting the time on passing the input again and again, save that as a variant. So what is variant? Whenever you are passing the same input to same program again and again, rather than passing the input again and again, just save into the selection set, which is called as a variant. Now you can create a variant by clicking on to the save button. We have a save button here or we have a button go to variants. 
the same as we need. Previously, there was no button, this get variant button. Whenever you will create a variant, after that, you will get this kind of button. Now, whenever you will go for variants, you will see the various features. You can get a variant. You can display a variant. Display a variant means what is in that variant? What are the various values in that particular variant? You can delete a variant also. And this is the way how you can save a variant. So this is all about how to create a variant for a report. So that's it in this video. Thank you.